It's the dawn of year eight of Rainbow Six Siege, and the first season on the horizon is Operation Commanding Force. It will introduce Brava, a new Brazilian attacker whose electronics hacking drone is coming for Mozzie's crown of most mischievous gadgets. The new season will bring balancing updates to make you rethink your reload timing and revisit the compensator and muzzle brake attachments. Plus, a new anti-cheat feature custom built for catching mouse and keyboard players on console is on the way. And a new system of beginner challenges will help newcomers learn the pillars of Siege and earn some neat rewards. It's set to be a strong debut for Year 8 of Rainbow Six Siege, and it starts with Brava. Brava is a drone operator, but that's not quite telling the whole story because Brava is also a thief, a meddler, a saboteur who won't simply dismantle your defenses, she'll turn them against you. Her unique gadget, the Kludge Drone, can hack enemy electronics from a distance. Once initiated, the hack does not need line of sight to complete. This allows her to steer her drone safely away while it does its dirty work, as long as it stays in range. Now, Defender gadgets respond to Brava's hacking in different ways. Some, like Bandit's batteries or Thunderbird's Kona stations, are just destroyed. A sad demise, but perhaps a more noble one, as other gadgets will have their allegiance switched. Now, Aruni will get zapped running through her own Surya gates. Echo's Yokai drone will be used to stop attempts to disable the diffuser rather than attempts to plant it. And Capkin, well, Capkin will get. Capkin. Brava makes defender assets into liabilities and turns obstacles into opportunities. I just listed a few of the more alarming possibilities, but the truth is, they're all alarming. With Brava on the field, defenders need to plan not just how to use their gadgets and how to adapt if they're taken out, but what to do if their gadgets are turned against them. Can you make it over to melee that turncoat bulletproof camera, or is it safer to just avoid its line of sight? If you can't see the telltale blue or red light indicating its allegiance without walking through the door, can you still count on Ella's Gersmot mine not to pop off? Even default cams can be silently turned against defenders now, who may not notice signs they've been hacked until it's too late. There's a new calculus in play, but the defenders have a few answers up their sleeves. Brava's Kludge drone isn't exactly small. Spot it and shoot it before it can work its mischief. Mute's jammers are effective deterrents, provided the Kludge can't get line of sight on them and give Mute a taste of his own medicine. You could also bring Solis, who can see the Kludge coming and hunt it down. But if the defenders want to start playing three-dimensional chess, they'll bring Mozzie. If one of his pests captures a Kludge drone, now it's Nomad and friends who will have to be wary of getting air jabbed and every attacker who will need to look twice when there's a claymore on the ground. Brava brings a strong loadout to complement her dastardly drone, with the Para 308 assault rifle and Cammer's marksman rifle as her primary option, and the USP-40 pistol and Super Shorty as her sidearms. She can also pick a smoke grenade or claymore to bring into play. Brava is setting a new standard for denial and deceit in Rainbow Six Siege. She'll be available at the launch of Operation Commanding Force through the Premium Battle Pass, and unlockable two weeks later with Renown or R6 credits. As for the other big updates arriving with Operation Commanding Force, a reload rework is going to make it so that when you start your reload animation and detach the magazine from your weapon, you'll only have access to the single bullet left in the chamber until the entire animation is complete. Canceling the animation prematurely will no longer give you access to the remaining bullets in your magazine, so you'll have to be more deliberate about when you choose to reload lest your opponents try to take advantage. 
Plus, the muzzle brake and compensator attachments have been buffed, and a balancing change for Zero now allows him to trigger when he wants his Argus cameras to drill through to the other side of the wall, instead of that happening automatically. New anti-toxicity and anti-cheat measures are also on the way, and you can read more about those and every single update coming with Operation Commanding Force on the official Rainbow Six Siege website. For more on Siege and all of Ubisoft's games, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.